Hi, my name is Carolyn Grow. I am with Law Toolbox, and I'm here to talk to you today about how you can use your Office 365 subscription to work remotely during the COVID-19 outbreak. At Law Toolbox, we built first to Office 365 back in 2013, and just before Microsoft Teams was launched, we developed a version of our solution that created a matter management system based on Microsoft Teams. So we've spent the last three years helping law firms and legal departments collaborate while all of their folks are at the office. Three weeks ago, we made a decision to move our employees to work from home. And during the session and future sessions, we'll be sharing tips and tricks to uh, keep people working effectively together while everybody's working out of a variety of different locations. So we are in a crisis, but there's also an opportunity to keep people together and to get our work done through technology and through online sophisticated collaboration systems like Microsoft Office 365. So let's see, do we have the right version of Office 365 in order to use Teams? And if we don't, uh, can we get a free version? Microsoft Office 365 Enterprise comes in three versions. You can see them here on this page. Each of these versions come with Teams. And if you're a small business, just make sure you have the premium version. If you don't have Microsoft Teams, you can get it from this URL or you can scan this barcode. So what is Microsoft Teams? It's a, it's a place where you can communicate. What you see in this chat-based version um, on the screen here is something similar to what people are familiar with with Skype, where you can chat. You can also create meetings and manage meetings and make phone calls. Collaboration allows you to bring in all of your apps, whether, you know, whether you're creating Excel files or Word documents, and you can attach those to your messages. And each one of those attachments are going to be stored within the team or within the chat message under the Files tab. So it creates a context to where your documents are being organized. Customizing and extending Teams means that you can take your favorite legal applications or time and billing products and pin them to the various teams that you're working on. Law Toolbox has, has extended Microsoft Teams by basically creating a legal version of Teams. And because Microsoft Teams is built, built on an enterprise-level security platform, law firms and legal departments can, can collaborate with confidence knowing that their data is protected. So let's get started. We'll look at doing our first Teams chat, place a phone call, and do a screen share. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is log into office.com. And we're going to sign in. And on this screen, if I see Teams, that means I have Teams available. It doesn't mean that I have it downloaded. And if I don't see Teams here, I can ask my IT person if they can make it available to me. And if I don't have Office 365, I can use the free version. And I'm prompted to choose whether I want to get the web app or go to the cloud version instead. And here I am. I can access Teams from the web version, or I can access Teams from the on-prem version. I'm going to ask Jean a quick question. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give him a call. Pretty sure that he knows. So we click call. How are you? Are you sure you don't know the expert for the soft tissue? I believe that it's not a case that Nikki's working on. I believe you're working on it. Uh, I know which one you're talking about. Hold on. Uh, let me share my screen and I'll find it. Okay, let me just go here to the contacts and search for brain injury. And that gets me Julie. Great. 
and I'm going to paste that into our IM so that you have that handy also okay, when we hang you. out. Got it. Our morning meeting started. Let me start inviting folks. So it looks like Jack noticed that we've got started already. Hey, Jack. Hi there. Saw the invite pop in. Okay. Let me go see if Brad's free. I'm going to ask him to join. So I think that Nikki's out at court, so she's not going to make it today. Okay. And uh, looks like we've got Brad. Hey, good Our morning. Hi, Brad. How are you? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Doing great. All right. Okay, Jack, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, well, let's uh, let's get going with our morning meeting. Um, so, Carolyn, what is your game plan for the day? So, let me pull up our wiki here. Um, I am working on a summary judgment motion today. You're working? I thought you were doing the Brown Depot, but that's okay. Uh, what I can do, so what we can do... Um, which which uh, summary judgment motion is that? It's the Jones summary judgment motion. Okay, hold on. I have some thoughts because I know you're working on the standards section. Um, I'm I can send you this uh, document or I can upload it to this team here uh, when we're done. But there's this one section I really wanted you to think about as you're writing the standards. I thought it was really useful and no reason to recreate the wheel. So um, I just. to our okay. if you go to the post for a real quick second okay hit the post it's right there yeah the tab yeah so you can see there the standards for the summary judgment Perfect. Um, so that's a great place to a great starting point you know just kind of work with that shepherdize that case law great brad, brad what, what are you working on so I'm actually also working on a uh, first draft summary judgment in the, for the uh, Sanders matter. Okay. Um, so uh, don't forget to use that McCormick case. That's the one that, uh, um, you know, where we, it, it's the case law when, when you're, uh, you've got a fraud claim and on the, the reliance issue, it's the, you can't rely if you knew you didn't know whether the statement was true or not. So just be sure to look at that McCormick case from the 10th Circuit. That'd be awesome. Sounds good. And um, Carolyn, later in the day, I think you and I were going to work on uh, like kind of putting together some stuff for the deposition for Brown. Is that right? Yes, I have that um, on the schedule for 3 p.m. today. Okay, I am going to, I am um, uploading something to the post. It's a, uh, it's a sample letter for uh, that we can send, you know, once we kind of go through it and we review it. Um, we can kind of finalize this letter uh, for Mrs. Brown so we can, um, you know, take a look at it and, and finalize it for her, okay? Okay, great. I see it here. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Um, uh, just one quick quick item. Brad, you're working on Sanders Matter. What was it that you're working on for Sanders again? It's a uh, first draft summary judgment. Okay. Great. I'll take our schedule for today and I'll drop it into the post as well. And so we've got that. Um, anything else that we should cover for the day? No, I think that's it. I just, you know, since we're all new to working remotely now, let's uh, just remember any questions, jump on the horn and do a video call with anybody, you know, at the drop of a hat. Okay. And um, yeah, go ahead, Brad. Oh, I was just saying that sounds like a great idea. Okay, great. So 2 p.m. I just wanted to mention that Nikki said she'd be back by court, back from court by then, and she's got open office hours. She's planning on having them from um, f for 30 minutes. And uh, one of the things that she wanted me to mention to everybody was that she would be there, um, kind of available for any questions um, on some of the matters that she's heading up. And so. Just feel free to, to jump into the same team meeting, and she'll be there ready for you if you need her. Awesome. Great. Great. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Talk to yeah. you soon.
right, bye. bye bye. Thanks for watching our session. And if you're interested in learning more, feel free to scan this barcode and register for a training and onboarding session where we have a version for IT folks and a version for end users to get started quickly while they're working from home on day one. And thank you for your time today. If you have any questions or would like to reach out, we look forward to hearing from you.